welcome back to the channel. You join me here for a quick day session on my syndicate of Penn's Waters. Um, I'm ever so sorry I've not been out for a while. I think um, Blackthorn was the last place I've been. Um, had a lovely weekend out there, unfortunately blanked. Um, and today's not going to be easy, so I'm only here for a day. Um, I've had a number of problems at home and stuff, which is the reason I've not been out for a while. The lad has now come to live with me. He was living with his mom and he's now with me. So we've had to sort him out and uh, he is here today, although he doesn't want to be on the camera. So he's gone for a little walk while I do a bit of filming. Um, as you can see, got the chair out, no bivvy. Just the basics today. Just see if we can winkle one out. Um, I'm on swim 13. When I got on here, there was only one lad. Uh, I think he's round up. That was interesting, big liner. It was a right liner that was middle rod um yeah there's one lad on swim four i think it is five something like that um and there's nobody else on so had a walk down the lake when i got here didn't see anything at all really um and they don't really show on here that much seen a few things topping but i think to be honest with you, it looked like pike um so yeah swim 13 and if you remember my first first fish i ever had on here was against those reeds uh, and that's what I've done again. I've got three rods, one on each end of the reeds and one straight in the middle, but I've gone really tight in. I've literally gone in with the bait boat, pushed the nose through the reeds and uh, and dropped the bait there. So getting a few liners at the moment. I don't know whether the bait's, I've only just dropped the middle rod, so I don't know whether the bait's still settling or what. But uh, it'd be nice if that screamed off. Very strange. Um, for those of you new to the channel, welcome. My name is Beza and this is my carp channel. Uh, and basically you'll follow me if you want to follow me um, during my fishing journey. Um, this is my, my syndicate water. I haven't used it much this year, uh, which is a shame, but I haven't done much fishing at all this year. Been out to France once this year for a week, done well out there and, uh, and the odd few day ticket waters here and there. So if you're interested, click on subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Uh, and for all the subscribers, old, Welcome back, um, as I said, something going on here, right rod and middle rod going mad now. Might just turn the sensitivity down and see what happens, mind you it is all the way down so. Not sure what's going on there. Keep an eye on them. Turn that right down. I am fishing locked up tight, as I said, because I'm in the reeds. I don't want those fish burying their heads in there and not being able to get them out. So I'm fishing locked up, which is why the lines are bow tight, bowstring tight, as you can see. Um, and as I said, I've got one literally on the end. One in the middle somewhere, and one on near to the other end. Um, and I'll say the fish too like to use those reeds for a bit of cover. I'll turn the sound down. They do like to use them reeds for a bit of cover. Um, and if you get a bait close in, they will stick the red out and try and nab it, but they will try and get back into the reeds. So this is promising. We're getting plenty of liners, um, but I'm guessing that's smaller fish messing around on the line. I'm not sure. Who knows, it may scream off. So, uh, what's been happening? Um, not a lot really. I'm at Merrington. Merrington, the end of, uh, sorry, the first week in October. Myself, Andy, and my lad, he'll be coming with me as well. Um, yeah, sorry, uh, beginning of October for five nights uh, on the Hayes Lake. So, um, that should be a good week hopefully bang some fish then um, and I've got nothing else planned really um, I have joined one of the other Foster's lakes on the manor complex um, for the winter whether I do much over the winter or not I don't know but the plan is to get on there next year and uh, I'll finish pens I won't fish pens again probably um, don't get me wrong it's a lovely water and that but there's just it doesn't excite me in terms of there's no 40s in here there's no big 30s 
so it just doesn't give me the want to get up and, and get down here but it's it's great for a day session uh, but yeah one of the, one of the lakes on the manor complex that's where i'll be going um as i said i've got a season uh, a winter ticket so i'll jump on there on the beginning of november do a couple of winter sessions before it gets really cold um and as you know i'm an old man and don't like the cold so i won't fish it when it's really when the temperatures really drop so yeah uh so yeah folks been really busy uh just not being able to get out um got my koi fish channel as well um Bezos koi channel have a look at that if you're interested in keeping koi pond pond fish and stuff like that been uh been busy sorting that out that takes up a lot of my time um and yeah not really a lot to update you with um don't know when badger's going to be out next we've still got a we've got a trip to france um, planned next year back to the same place le bourgogne uh next september that is and uh yeah i don't think it's going to be out much more this year but we'll see how it goes anyway these rods keep going mad i'm not sure why um fingers crossed get a fish i'll see you in a bit that's the outlook for the swim folks and as you can see the rods are going mad i don't know what's going on getting lots of liners um yeah but rod tip's not moving it's not pulling any line keep it on here see if it goes again we're literally having a chorus here the right rod middle rod left rod and they, they're all going off i'm guessing that's small fish on the lines um certainly no takes yeah the rod tip's not moving or anything uh, there you go middle rod again see bobbin's not even moving which is strange just like a vibration on the line which is causing it to go off folks sun's starting to come out and so is he he's decided he wants to be on camera after all don't think we'll ever make a fisherman out of him this is young Joe Bezza. The real Bezza. The real Bezza. He's not interested in car fishing just yet. He wants to come out. But um, yeah, I think he's got a lot to learn. So have I still, to be honest with you. But, uh, but yeah, he's out with me for the day. Uh, he didn't want to be on camera earlier, but as soon as the camera was out, he was sticking his head out. Um, but yeah, he's going to be helping me today. And um, we'll see what we get. Rods are still on the deck. Um, like I said, there's not much watercraft to it. I've put them in spots where I think the fish might be. And uh, we'll see how we go. Wish us luck. You have to get you some camo gear. Come on. We got you. So there we go, folks. Um, looks like it's going to be a nice day. Look at that. The sun's coming up behind me. Beautiful. See if we can winkle one out today. I'm gonna go and sit down now, have a brew, and enjoy the sunshine. Catch up with you in a little while. Folks, it's around about half one now, and uh, not a sniff. I'm not happy. He is getting bored. How can you teach an 18 year old lad to actually just sit in here with the birds singing, the trees rustling? Just ace. I need a fish. I need a fish in my hands. Right, Russ. What you need is a slap, boy. A slap. Yeah, so he's getting bored. Um, but hey ho, I've only moved the rods once. Um, well, one of them. Uh, I'm not going to move them again. Not unless I see anything. I don't sound bored. I sound more restless. I want a fish really badly. He wants to fish. He's yeah. not done one little thing to try and catch one other than sit there on his phone. But he wants Waiting. to see him. Yeah, so uh, nothing's happened as yet. It's half one, we've still got a few hours, so I'm gonna stick stick to the plan, sit on my hands and uh and see what happens. Lake's flat calm, you can see. Absolutely flat calm. And there have been a couple of shows to be fair. Down in the bay, fish boshed out there, that's where I moved the left rod to and uh, one under the trees opposite me, um, to the right hand side. Uh, boshed out again, so I've got a rod under there. Uh, I'm just gonna wait and see. Other than that, I've not seen anything else. We've just been chilling. <sighs> I ain't bringing them again. Why? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, folks, uh, if I don't catch anything today, then next outing will probably be Merrington. I don't know, maybe I'll do a night before, we'll see. Um, or maybe another couple of day sessions. Um, but if not, Merrington for five nights, beginning of October. He's coming with me as well. Um, yeah, so we'll see. We'll definitely have some more fish before the season's out. As I say, new syndicate November. Um, we'll talk about talk more about that nearer the time. Um, but yeah, new syndicate for the winter. I'll still be on pens. I'll still be able to use pens if I want to, but I can't see me using it once I'm on the new place. Uh, but there you go. I'll let you go and I'll uh, come back to you if we get any action in a little while. Okay, folks, so uh, my lad thinks it's funny to set, them, set the piss out of me, basically, for my filming. And uh, he keeps saying, all right, guys, all right, folks, uh, yeah, see ya, see ya. And, he think, and he, he's going to give a little impression of me now, because he thinks he's bad. Here we go. There you go. Don't drop the phone, don't drop it. All right, folks, um, it's the Bezzer here. Um, just the pens, you know, really good day out, really nice, you know, beautiful weather. Got the rods in, it's really nice, just got my brew on. Um, so, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna have a little look for some fish today, see if we can catch any. But can you look at this weather? You can't get much better than this, can you? So, um, yeah, that's exactly what you do, exactly what you do. That's <laughs> what. I have no idea these kids do they? Eh? They don't have the born. So, you know, um, yeah, yeah, um. What's I doing? I don't actually think he's mine. I think something happened at the last bottle. We picked up the wrong one. <laughs> anyway, folks, uh, I'm going to sit and, sit and enjoy <laughs> the weather. Uh, no fish, nothing to report. Um, so yeah, <laughs> folks coming up to midday and uh, not a touch. The rods were going mad once I first put the bait in, as I said, by those reeds and all three rods were going mad, but there was nothing pulling the line, the bobbins weren't moving. Um, and then after about half an hour, it all stopped. So I'm guessing as I load the bait in uh, with a handful of bait around it, I'm guessing small fish were attacking all the little bits and pieces. Um, so, uh, the other thing I want to talk about um, is bait. What bait am I using? Well, at the moment, um, I'm using a little bit of pellet, some, basically some powders that I've got, like carpet feed and things like that, just to create a bit of a cloud in the water. And on the hook bait is the honey and tiger nut from Spa Baits, the old faithful pop that I used. Um, on that subject, I'm no longer with Spa Baits. Um, I called it a day on them. Uh, a few weeks back uh, it just wasn't working out for me um, the bait was absolutely cracking um, I'll still be using their bait I'll still be buying their bait uh, I just won't be promoting for them anymore um, just for my own personal reasons bear with me, I'm just going to go and get the, the um, bring the barrow in save everything getting soaked so there we have it folks, uh, brought the barrow in stuck it under the bivy while it's hammering down uh, it wasn't even forecast any rain for today um, so yeah, as I was saying, um, basically it wasn't working out for me, so um, yeah, so I'm not with a bait company at the moment, I've decided to 
free and single, ready to mingle and uh, use whatever bait I want. However, as I said, I'm, I'm still going to use some of the spa bait, so stand by it. It's great bait. Uh, I wasn't promoting it just because, um, just because I was with them. You know, I actually genuinely thought the bait was really good and it's caught me plenty of fish. So, um, I still recommend people go over there, have a look at the bait. I said you'll, you won't be disappointed whatsoever. Um, just for my own reasons, I've decided to leave them. Um, not saying I'll never go back, but at the moment it's just not working out for me. Um, and I'm free now to use whatever bait I want, whatever tackle I want, and not tied down to anybody. Uh, that's the trouble when you get into the carp fishing, and especially with getting into YouTube and things like that. Um, it's always good to have some tackle companies, um, some brands that are sort of sharing your stuff, and it just helps the channel grow. Um, but you know, I've been doing it, been doing it for a couple of years now. What since 2019 I started up this channel, and. Uh, been with the bait company ever since, as with DNA at the beginning, uh, and then with Spar Baits and other tackle companies. And to be honest with you, you rarely get much back for putting in the effort that you, that you put in. You rarely get much back, um, and it just doesn't seem worth it a lot of the time. So, so I'm going to go it alone for now. I'm not saying I won't go with another bait company in the future, but at the moment I'm free and single. I can use what I want. I can do what I want. I don't need to come out for anybody and uh, just concentrate on my fishing for a while so that's that folks now you can see it's hammering down um, oh, I just thought yes I have got a waterproof jacket with me thought I'd forgotten one there um, I wasn't expecting this rain it wasn't forecasted at all um, I've got another I don't know probably pack up in about five hours um, but you never know rods are on the dance floor we could still have a fish in that time so fingers crossed go folks right rod <coughs> where I've seen that fish jumping under the bush right rods just ripped off arc round to the right and uh, we're into another fish my second fish at pens if I can land it um, doesn't seem to be giving me much of a fight to be honest with you doesn't feel that big either but you know what I'll take that on a day session you look at it you never know what you're gonna get on this lake you gonna be an old warrior or is it gonna be a clean looking calf well it doesn't feel big I'd imagine I'd imagine it's gonna be a mid double or something like that <coughs> Trying to give a bit of a fight now, so <coughs> he's having a go now. Typical, my lad's gone off to use the toilet. He's gonna to miss this. I think it's just about giving up now. Uh, I think it's around about two o'clock in the afternoon, so. like a nice mirror. Still fighting? Oh, fuck's sake, come on. Can you believe it? Hook pull, and it's gone. It was a nice looking mirror, it looked about 20 pound, uh, but, um, Yep, hook pull I'm afraid. I 
I think now that is going to be a blank, but hey ho, these things happen. A bit pissed off, but. There you go. Oh, folks, there you go. And that's what you call a good example of bad angling. So I just watched a little video back. Uh, obviously, when I hooked into that fish, I put the camera on the uh, on the barrow and just got it recording, just to try and get a little bit of footage. Um, and then at the end of the video where the fish actually came off, you can see I'm looking back at the camera um, just to talk to the camera, just to say, I don't know, I can't remember what I was saying. And as I did that, I'd already tightened the clutch up um, as the fish got close to the net, thinking that he'd pretty much given up. Uh, and I looked back at the camera, and as I did that, the fish had lunged forward, pulled the rod tip down, um, and I hadn't got my two, I hadn't got my hand on the clutch to be able to release it. So uh, bad angling on my part, but you know what, you live and learn. I, I do this all the time with my filming and that for YouTube. When you're on your own, uh, my lad's not here to film. He's, he's down in the toilet. Um, you know, trying to get the camera set up at the same time while you're fishing, it's a bloody nightmare. And sometimes, you, you know, you concentrate too much on trying to capture the footage rather than actually catching the fish. Um, that's happened a couple of times to me in the past, uh, where I've been in there picking up fo uh, my phone to get it recorded and stuff. So uh, on this occasion, yeah, the clutch was too tight, I think. Um, and as it did at last flip, you could see the rod tip in the video. See the rod tip drop down as the fish went to lunge away. Uh, I thought he'd given up. And uh, cause I was looking away, uh, I didn't get to the to the um, to the clutch in time just to release a little bit of line. But hey ho, it looked like a nice um, nice tw twenty pound, roughly twenty pound mirror. Uh, but I'll never know now. I did get a look at it a couple of times. I'll never know. But the rod's back on the spot. It's around about half two now, so I've got two and a half hours. Um, you never know. Could just go again. Um, it's where I seen that fish bosh right under the tree, the far side. Um, so stupid stupid kicking myself but there, there you go uh, i can't blame anybody but myself that's it um so here we go i'll come back to you in a little while you never know you might have another one the other two rods are still on the same spots i haven't touched them all day um so see how lucky i am folks unfortunately we've had to pack up a bit early well, a couple of hours early because i've got a banging head terrible migraine and i haven't got any tablets yeah, literally got a banging head, migraine, feel sick. Um, the bonus is, got the lad to push the barrow, even though he looks like he's going to drop it. So I need to get out and get some tablets because I don't feel great. So Shame there's no fish, but uh, hey ho, that's the way it goes on a day session. But um, we'll be out in Merrington, if not down here again before. So thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to click on subscribe.